Hi guys, um, just wanted to have a chat to you about the eel project. Um, basically we've had a few guys asking what happened to the previous eel project and what are we doing now. So all the information I'm going to talk to you about today is um, all online. Uh, all the market research reports, all the reports regarding what we learnt and what we're going to do now. All online, you can go to www.nswpfa.com.au and follow the links to eels. It'll take you to a special website all about eels. So, the previous project in which uh, the whole objective of that project was the New South Wales commercial fish fishers, um, eel fishers collaborate to deliver eels um, through an e-commerce platform into China. So we used GFresh, which was a well-established um, platform that had a very good um, quality control setup that we liked and they had a great way of paying fishers that was you know, quite secure. Um, we learned a lot from that project. So we learned there was two markets into China. The first market was basically um, a very high value market. Now there's a lot of noise in that high value market, um, but there's people in China and Asia who are willing to pay top dollar for a distinguished product. The second market is a market where a lot of countries dump their product through it. It's all that high quantity, very low value, uh, market. Now with that market um, it's, it's pretty much impossible for us to compete because our labour costs are just so high compared to other countries. So um, at the end of the product, uh, that project that we had through FIDC, uh, we were getting orders coming through for the EU products but they were of such low um, money that they were willing to pay for that we just we couldn't accept any of the um, requests to to provide eels, they were just wouldn't have covered your fuel costs. So, at the end of that project, we realised that okay, you have to concentrate on the high value um, uh, market. But to do that, you have to distinguish your product. And most countries, um, you, you go into China and you think, oh well, we can distinguish our product by saying, hey, we're Australian, we're clean and green. There is a lot of countries going to China saying, hey, we're clean and green. You're competing with New Zealand, you're competing, competing with Canada. Um, Ireland, all those countries, and those countries have a lot of government backing for their marketing campaigns, and we just don't have that. So the only real solution that we could come up with as a PFA and the Honey and Fox are consultants is that you need to piggyback it into those countries with an already established um, market or established person who has that um, known brand, high value um, product going in. So. Uh, after the project was finished, we then went and investigated a couple of those options and we chose Noosa Seafood Markets as a really great uh, company to work with, um, who had already got a very highly reputable, well-paying uh, brand already established into the Asian markets. Um, we also found through the previous project that China is really hard to get into. There's a permitted species list that you have to be on, which eels are, but you also have to have a permitted exporter, which there's issues going on with there, and it's really complicated to get into China. And when you consider the amount of volume we're dealing with, we're better off looking into places like Japan and Korea and Singapore. So um, the second round of funding that we've got um, is to look at actual five high-level uh, products that we're going to work with Musa Seafood Markets on and getting those into Japan and Singapore. We've already spent a bit of money on um, trialling some of these products. Um, we've sent some uh, eels from Hawkesbury and uh, Clarence and, and down at Wallace Lakes up to Noosa and we're getting taste reports done on those, spe on, on those eels that we've sent up. And we're already trialling a few different um, recipes with those eels and different cooking styles. We've come up with one product already, Yanagi eels, which uh, after about nine different uh, goes at it, we think we've got a pretty solid product uh, and we've got to do four other products. Now we're going to come through, um, do a, a New South Wales road trip between PFA, Honey and Fox and Mr. Seafood Markets to go meet with eel fishers along the coastline and that's happening around the week starting the 9th of August, in which we're going to go and meet with eel fishers and talk to them about what we're doing. Well, we just wanted to give you guys a heads up about what's happening. Um, there's been questions about what happened with the previous product, uh, previous uh, report, and where we're going to from here. So that's pretty much it. Just uh, keep an eye on the PFA newsletter. We'll make sure we keep everyone up to date and keep in touch. Thanks, guys.